Hi, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fish vet. Today, what I'm going to show you is how to get fish better when it's winter time. As you know, fish's immune system, their behavior, as well as their appetite is influenced really by the water temperature. So when it's summer, they'll be a lot more active, a lot more hungry. But in winter, they're going to be more sluggish, not eating as much, and their immune system is also going to be depressed. So, if you're ever having to treat any fish from any diseases or any surgical activity, you want them to recover better, what you can do is you can actually provide them some heating. Now, it's not very practical to have heating for a whole big pond such as this. So, what fish do is that they actually display something called behavioral fever. So, as you know, when we get sick from a flu or something like that, we get a fever, we get a high temperature, a high body temperature. But fish, being uh, poikilothermic, they cannot generate the heat within themselves. So what they have to do is they have to seek out places where the water temperature is warmer. So in nature, what they do is they actually seek out places where they're near the shallows, uh, where the sun is shining. So you may notice that happen in your pond as well. And what we're going to do here, because this is actually undercover, uh, we're going to artificially create this place where it's going to be a bit warmer. And how have we done that? We have in here, we've got an aquarium heater. Um, it's only 300 watts, but this will have to do. This is all we've got. And the other thing is, uh, here's our heater. And we've set it to the maximum temperature, which is about 32 to 34 degrees. And what we've done here is we've used some um, cable ties to enclose this heater because we want to protect fish from sitting directly on it because as you have seen from one of my earlier videos we had a stingray sit on the heater when the heater turned on and it gave them a really severe burn so this will protect fish from sitting on the heater because the heater has a thermostat so it's not on all the time so the fish won't know when it's going to turn on and turn off so we put that in there and this is not going to heat up the whole pond with the water movement and things like that. It's going to be a really inefficient way of creating any heat. So what we've done is we've created a bit of a baffle with some shade cloth material. And it just hangs down a little bit loose at the bottom. And also it has this little side panel where fish can come and go as they like. So by doing this, we can create a sort of a small area where the heat is concentrated and then there's going to be this thermal gradient. So the fish can actually choose where they want to be. And to improve this a little bit further, what we're going to do is we're going to use some foam material, just polystyrene. We're just going to float this on the water surface. And what this does is that it means that the heat is not going to be lost through the surface as well. So it just stays down there. Um, with the polystyrene, you don't want to cover the entire place because as you know, um, oxygen enters and carbon dioxide comes out of the water through the water surface. So you don't want to be suffocating fish and have fish trapped in there. So what we want to do is we want to be able to just close maybe 25 to 50% of the water surface over the heater and this will create this nice sort of a warm area, like a sunroom in effect for them. So, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something from me today. And don't forget to subscribe to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week.